agora é a parte final. É a parte mais técnica e tática da luta. É o treinamento de hoje, fizemos um trabalho técnico e tático de boxe, tá? Só pra gente não se expor na hora da trocação. Se botar ele contra o bispo, e com certeza ele vai pegar o cinturão do bispo. <risos> Então hoje, na verdade, o trabalho com o Anderson é um trabalho muito específico. Até porque ele já tem tudo, já fez de tudo, já tem tudo. É só questão de você ir lá e ligar o motor. Vira a chave, liga o motor, que o cara vai embora. É, é muito apetrecho o bicho tem, né? Muito apetrecho. O problema é guardar tudo sempre. Eu cuido porque antes eu não tinha, né? Pra ter uma luva era um parto, cara. É o nosso grande ídolo do esporte. Gente finíssimo, é o cara mais carismático que o MEA tem. Você vê que olha a vibração de todo mundo aqui em volta, de todos os treinos dele, quantas pessoas vêm a julgar, quanto ele ajuda todo mundo também. Né? Por isso que ele é um grande ídolo do país. Eu acho que o Brasil precisa de gente assim, por isso que ele está até hoje lutando. Eu acredito que o Anderson é melhor tecnicamente e, e pode vencer por nocaute. Você está bem? Uhum. Você está legal? Sim. E a escola? É. É o quê? Estou estudando. Ah, então tá bom. Então uma coisa para dizer sobre o Anderson Silva é que o Astro voltou. Para mim ele é um exemplo de vida, para mim ele é um exemplo de, de, de superação. E vocês vão ver. Pode escrever o que eu estou falando. O Astro voltou. Isso. Eu vou ser um pouco mais longo da We just want to make sure we're going to keep moving, keep uh, improving our jiu-jitsu skills with good submissions, good defenses, good stand-ups, everything that the game offers us. We need to make sure we are uh, prepared for it. Like when you run like that, I just want to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Key with the repetitions, make sure she's keep healthy. So you can make my hand work. It's not just about the fighter knows the, the techniques and the movements, but the body needs to react. I feel like you remember things more if you write it down. Even if it's stuff I already know, so I feel like writing it down just kind of puts it in my head better. And then ask them if I forgot anything to make sure that I'm like processing everything that we did. I'm just doing the job. I already had my hard workouts in, and I'm just coming up here to kind of move around. When I'm done having to actually think about training, it's easier to now just like. All I have to do is run. Just one foot in front of the other. I don't have to think too hard. I do think a lot about my fight while I'm running. Actual scenarios in the fight, visualizing the fight, visualizing each situation I'm in, how I'm going to respond to it. That way when the fight comes, it's not like it's brand new, you know. I feel like it's something that's been uh, practiced so many times that it just comes second nature. We have a lot of interviews to do. A lot of interviews for Dutch TV. Uh, it's going nuts. Everybody's going nuts here. It's, it's insane. This is the woman that makes sure I will be fighting February 11th. Without her, there was no me. This is my mom. She's my everything. She had a really good training camp. She worked on a ground game, worked on a striking, you know, we have a good plan. I think we have a really good game plan against Holly. The only thing we hope now is that Holly comes out and fight. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to do well on uh, February 11th and we're going to bring the bell to Holland. That's what we want. We always train like this. We've been training since we were five years old, like with our kickboxing, with our judo guys. Her striking is like unbelievable. She isn't afraid of getting taken down to the ground. She has so much more power in her hands right now because she really believes that she can punch and kick everybody. And, uh, and if she's taken down, she's going to be a threat to everybody in the division. She's really tough, yeah. <laughs> like life as a coach isn't easy, huh? <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, so cool. Yeah. Oh, my sweet girl. Zijn jullie niet heel bang? Ja. Ik wil Ah! Wow! Ik was 
not brave. I was pretty scared for her. She's uh, one tough cookie. <laughs> if I was Harley, I would run. <laughs> Yeah, I think these work right here. My youngest daughter have a uh, her first pageant. All right, thanks. Have a good day. We have two beautiful daughters, and we love them with everything, and put a lot into it. Their mom, you know, she's all excited about this pageant more than my daughter is, you know. So, um, just part of being a parent, I guess. He's right here, trying to get my food. What's up, Scoop? We're going to the Little Miss Galberry pageant. It's the first ever that they're having. So, hopefully she wins. I think she will. It's room for We should have her badges more often. She's usually never quiet. <laughs> Ever. Because <laughs> when you're a parent, you gotta, you know, be responsible for others, and here we go, walking to a pageant. Number 11 is Kiara Janelle Bronson. Woo! 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 Kiara is the nine-year-old daughter of Stephanie and Derek Bronson, and her dad is in the UFC middleweight division. And if she had one wish, it would be that cancer would disappear forever. <laughs> and now, the winner is contestant number 11. Woo! I can't say I expected for her to win, but you know she's a gamer. She went out there and she she won the pageant, so it was very uh, entertaining and rewarding to see. Her. You were great and you look beautiful, and I will hold this for you. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Yeah. Good job, against you. I know my baby. Don't poke yourself with that sash. Bye, cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff around. Bye, I, gotta close the door. I know. It's nice to meet Bye, you. Thank you. Bye.